Hi everyone, uh, welcome back to my channel, Vera is my bag. Um, today I thought I would uh, do a what's in my bag. Um, I haven't been filming for a long time. Um, a lot of things were going on, some things with my health. Um, and uh, I had filmed right before Hummingbird Park was released and had intended to do a, you know, kind of a, a you know, a haul of Hummingbird Park. And I kept changing my mind about what things I was going to keep and what I was going to send back. And so I delayed and delayed. And then it got to be where I was like, oh, I don't even know what I want to say. Um, and it was just, it has been kind of, it's felt like kind of a whirlwind uh, with Vera um, the last couple months as far as like the great things that I've found, uh, some unicorns that I've found, um, great online outlet sales. And I just haven't been able to like catch, every time I think, oh, I'm gonna do a video, I'm thinking to myself, oh, well, I didn't do a video of the last one and I didn't do a video of this one and I didn't show you. So I have like all these things and it's like, I don't even know where to begin. So today I thought I would just begin with my custom bag that I ordered. Um, I decided to finally um, purchase my first custom bag and I thought I'd do a what's in my bag of that. Um, I had always thought that I wasn't going to buy a custom bag. I had kind of, kind of, and if you don't know about Vera's custom bags, so they're never discounted. You can't use any coupons um, and they're kind of expensive. Um, and I figured if I'm going to do it, I want to get the largest piece of material I can. So that's kind of the largest, the Vera tote. And I just didn't have, there was nothing there that really pulled me in. Um, or I waited too long and something left the custom area that is no longer available that I would have liked to get. Um, so I don't remember exactly when it was. I feel like it was sometime in May or late April that they uh, announced that they were bringing some patterns back out of the archives um, that had been, that, you know, had been pulled away from the custom and they were being brought back. And that was what finally got me to order a custom bag. Um, there's some, there are some great things and there's still these patterns, this, these two patterns are still um, available. Uh, so you can get it if you're um, wanting to, to uh, splurge on a custom bag. Um, so I, um, so this is gonna be a what's in my bag, but I'll show you uh, the bag first. So it's a, um, a regular size view. I'm gonna step back here. So you're in my kitchen today because I don't have any light in my Vera room <laughs> in the back. So this seemed like it was, I was gonna do this in the car because I had a um, hair appointment today. Um, I I can never get my hair to look this good on my own. So this is my stylist, Allie, uh, and she's been bringing me to, uh, she's been encouraging me to th grow out my gray. I'm fully, you know, white. Um, to grow it out and get rid of all the kind of tans that I had going on. I had been coloring and cutting my hair for 30 years myself. I didn't, I never spent the money to go to a stylist. I always just whacked at the bottom of it and then just threw hair color on and it was fine. <laughs> but now that it's gray, it's getting harder and harder to deal with the stripe that would grow in and all of that. So I splurged about three years ago and got highlights and then, um, I saw somehow Instagram, um, of course, it's always listening to you. Um, Instagram showed me, um, you know, kind of showed me, uh, or ran it as a, I don't know, an ad through my feed or whatever, but it was uh, someone down in a county south of us. Um, and she's a blonding specialist. And I thought, well, and I went and looked at her feed because I loved her hair. She, and she's not blonde, but I love just the way that it looked. And um, her whole feed was just fantastically gorgeous. So I was like, all right, I want an appointment with her, but she's very, you can't, it's hard to get in. She only puts up a, a post every once in a while that says I have uh, new customers are welcome or I have availability for a new customer. So I had been kind of stalking her <laughs> to wait for an opening. And early in June or maybe late May, um, I saw an opening or she said, I have an opening if anybody's, you know, and I messaged her right away and I didn't get a response. And so she said it again, like the week later, I'm going to have an opening like the third week of June. And I was like, please, can I please get into you? Um, so anyway, uh, today was my, she actually did my hair, uh, late in June. Um, and then today was, 
a maintenance day where she retoned it. Um, it. I tend to throw a lot of gold yellow and I'm not real f uh, fond of that. So today was a toner um, and so I'm thrilled with it. And if she knows how to do, my hair is never this smooth or non-fuzzy. Um, I have really cur wavy curly hair um, to the point of being like straw almost. And it just, so I can never do anything with it except throw it into old fashioned curls that I know how to do. But she does this like beachy thing and it's like and all of all the all of her whole feet is like that and I just love I loved it so anyway I went and got my toner today and my beachy uh, curls that she could do and um, I will now be able to go like four days with my new hair <laughs> anyway um, so I was gonna do this in the car while I was out but then there was an emergency with the dryer and my husband and so I raced home. I actually got to hit the uh, Vera outlet on my way home. Um, just for a minute, I had something to return and so I grabbed one, one or two items there. But anyway, so this is my custom bag. It looks really good in here. I, the lighting, like I said, in my bedroom is just so bad. Um, so this uh, pattern is called Foxwood Menagerie Blue. Um, and it is the uh, same um, pattern as the inside of Foxwood, um, except in with the blue sort of um, uh, tone, the blue uh, pattern. And um, instead of red foxes, um, the bag has these really great sort of magenta colored foxes, which I just think are so cute. Um, it also has all sorts of other critters on it. There's a um, we call these California quail here, but I've heard other people call them partridges or I don't know what else, pheasants. Somebody said they thought it was a pheasant, but I think that's a quail. Um, there's some other little like nuthatch or something here. Um, there's a squirrel. And I think I'll have to turn the bag around to get one of the, um, oh, there's a, there's a hare, a rabbit hare. Yeah, so um, this is this pet. The I got the pocket. You can when you're doing a custom, you can choose um, what this front pocket will be. It can be different than the rest of the bag, um, and you can choose your strap color, and you can choose the piping, the um, the trim, um, and you can also choose uh, to have like a luggage um, sleeve put on the back or an extra pocket. I think maybe the luggage sleeve is a zippered pocket as well. I can't remember, but I didn't want to spend extra money for that on this first time. Um, so I decided, so you can see all the hair. I decided to just do the bag and not do any embroidery or any kind of um, stitching on the inside. Um, with custom bags, you can get something, you can upload uh, images or writing, handwriting, and get something stitched on the inside on a pocket, but I decided to not do that this time. Um, yeah, so the colors look really great here. If I could say one thing is I think that in the natural light, this may throw just a little bit more mintiness to these leaves and things. I think they're just a little bit, although this is throwing green correctly here, that looks right. So I don't know, anyway. Um, so yeah, so this is uh, Foxwood Menagerie Blue. And the, um, the, the interior color that I chose uh, and for the straps um, is Foxwood Blue, um, which is the exterior of Foxwood uh, in a blue color. Um, so I really like that. Um, when I first got the bag, so I opened it um, live, kind of did a video on Instagram and opened it there. Um, and, you know, it's like, I'm looking at it and thinking, uh, okay, I'm not seeing like a lot of foxes. <laughs> like, and it's like a custom bag and you're paying extra. And so it's sort of like, oh, I hope that there's, you know, I hope I didn't get no foxes and I certainly didn't want to have just like one. Um, so I started kind of counting them and I was, slightly, you know, disappointed with how many foxes were actually on the bag. Um, this, and that's one of kind of the reasons why the custom is a little bit iffy, because although you can return them if you haven't engraved them or put anything um, special, it made them completely custom to you. There, I believe there is a return feature, um, and this does still have the tag on it. Uh, so anyway, um, 
So there's one fox here, and I got a fox here. And then I think, yeah, there's one more here. And then as we turn the bag around, I think I got uh, the pattern repeat one here and one here. Um, and there's one peeking out here and here. So it, it, after a while, they were just not centered, although in the back I have more of a centered uh, fox here. Yeah, and here and here. So the, it turned out really good. Um, I did, you know, when I show you the interior after I show you what's in my bag, um, that was where I started worrying and sort of feeling cheated a little bit that I had um, not gotten uh, kind of what I wanted on the interior. Um, but I'll show you that in a second. Um, so I'll, I'll uh, show you the accent um, pattern um, after I show you what's in the bag. So um, let me just flip this around here. So this is kind of gives you a interior view. This is foxwood blue inside. And I was noticing um, kind of that they repeat or sort of the, they're like this side of the bag and then this side of the bag are kind of almost mirror images of each other. If you see this flower and then you see this flower. So the, the material is almost uh, an image of each other, which kind of almost was bad because that's why I didn't get any foxes because both sides are kind of the same. Um, I did notice that, um, I guess when I get around to the other side, I'll show you, but I think I had one fox up here on the top. Um, anyway, so this is kind of gives you an idea. It's falling, things are messy. Then it's quite to hold its shape of what I had in there. All right, so I'll go through kind of what's in my bag. So the first thing I have is my uh, Carson um, uh, cell phone uh, cell phone crossbody. Um, I like this um, pattern, the sort of minty blue uh, with the foxwood. I think that goes really well. So it was kind of like that was fun to put in there. Um, so yeah, I was carrying this most of the spring and then I switched into um, lavender meadow for a while for my phone holder. Um, but I switched back because I just moved, kind of moved into this bag uh, today. So that's that. Um, I also have, so um, this is um, Cloud Vine Multi, Multi, which is uh, kind of a clamshell cosmetic. Um, I have got uh, some masks in here, um, um, Cat's Meow and uh, Floating Garden. So the, yeah, so this is a kind of a uh, cosmetic clamshell cotton inside, not the PVC. But this was the uh, bag that came with the Venus razor set that they were selling uh, right before Christmas last year. And so this was the bag that you got in it. So it's really cute. And I really like kind of the purple and sort of the little flower, uh, kind of like cloud vine. Sorry, I got interrupted. Um, heard a knock on the door. Um, so the next thing that I have in here is my uh, sunglass um, case. This is the um, Garden Grove pattern. So this is the big case for sunglasses and these are my uh, Lucky brand. I just got these at TJ Maxx but I love this shape. This is kind of like a olivey green that I really like kind of with um, my skin tone. Anyway, so I uh, I bought a pair sometime in late May, I think it was. Immediately lost them. And it was like the only pair that was at TJ Maxx. So I went to all the TJ Maxx in the valley here and uh, I bought two more pairs just because I'm like, if I lose them again, I literally love these and I don't want. So I bought two. I think they were like $9 a piece, but I bought two. And then of course I found the third, I saw it found the other pair like a week later. So now I have three. So hopefully I will never be out of these uh, sunglasses. Anyway, that's my sunglass case. Um, and then this is my uh, cosmetic. Uh, this is a mirror cosmetic from, uh, fa this is a factory outlet pattern of Penelope's Garden. Um, so it has like a little uh, mirror inside. Um, that sits, sticks in the back pocket. 
and uh, kind of all my little cosmetics. I don't wear a lot, um, like a, not a BB cream, but kind of a sport cream that has a, like a little bit of um, foundation in it. And then uh, this has become my favorite lipstick. This is, I got this in an Ipsy bag, I think. It's called Context. And I've always been looking for kind of a, a raisin color, I think. It's kind of like a, yeah. So I, I just love that one, Context. Um, can't read the pattern. I, I have terrible eyes, so I can't read the pattern to, or the uh, color to you. So anyway, that's my cause. So my cosmetics are on there. Okay, somehow I knocked the camera over. My husband was coming in, so I had to stop. Um, so if things have shifted, that's why. Um, anyway, so I was saying, I think, oh, by the way, um, this filming location, like I've got you in my cabinet because <laughs> there's no, no way for me to set up this phone. I can't find anywhere to set it up. Um, so this kind of worked good. So you might be in my cabinet next time too. Um, all right. Um, and then in my, this is kind of all sitting in the main section of the bag. So then I've got my, uh, Lavender Meadow um, turn lock um, that I'm using for my cards and uh, my uh, grocery uh, discount card and all that. Um, I really like I've never been into a turn lock before like I didn't have I've never had one and I thought they were like way too big for me because I've been using zip IDs and kind of carrying a couple zip IDs with my cards but um, I kind of like this. This is, I. I picked up this uh, turn lock from a boutique that was having, I think it was like 50% off on uh, Lavender Meadow. I I started falling in love with Lavender Meadow after Potato Peach started falling in love with Lavender Meadow and then I couldn't find it um, anywhere. Um, but I, found, I happened upon a boutique that um, had a few pieces left and this was one of them. And so I just grabbed it up because they had them marked 50% off. So if you are not familiar with Lavender Meadow, it has little ladybugs on it, which I love. Um, and I just love the purple and I can't remember. Oh, there's another ladybug there. And I really, really, really love this little bud, this pink bud. I love, the, I love everything about it. And I love sort of this, it's almost like a lavender that they use for the pleather and the ribbon and zipper. Um, so I really love that sort of the background is a little bit of a really, really light gray lavender color. Anyway, so that's what I'm carrying for uh, my wallet. Um, it's not gonna be like, when I show you the things in here, I'm not gonna fully review everything, but I really am liking the turn lock. I'm gonna try to be looking for uh, more turn locks um, in the future. Um, this is my uh, Batik. Batik, I think it's Batik, B-A-T-I-K, Batik Leaves. This is also a factory pattern. Um, doesn't have, you know, has like the plain lining, so you know that kind of that it's factory. Um, this is my charger, my extra uh, battery chargers um, in case I run out. So this is a wristlet, I believe. Um, so I'm just using it for that. I love Batik Batik. Yeah, I love all the colors that are in here. I've kind of been going through this whole like pink and purple phase this summer um, where normally I'm kind of a tan and brown and you know, so I'm really enjoying all the purple. Um, hairspray. Uh, this is a special hairspray that um, she uses and uh, like every time I curl my hair, it won't stay. But she, um, she said, try this, it's, let's see. Infinium 3, it's a L'Oreal, but you can't find it at the, like the normal stores. I don't know where, I don't even, I think I might've seen it on Amazon, but yeah, so it's really hard to find. So I bought it, she had extra. So I bought one from her while I was there. So I was carrying that around in the bag. Um, okay, that's it for like the main compartment. So you can kind of see the pattern more in there. And let's see if I can find what I was going to show you. Where is that guy? There's like one fox. Oh, okay. Well, is it here or here? He's right here. 
Is he there? Yeah, one fox is all I got in that whole interior of all that pattern. So I was getting, I was getting a little bit frustrated with that. And I thought, oh, do I wanna return this and try again? I mean, there's extra foxes on the uh, edges of the menagerie, but not the blue, like the inside blue. Um, so that there's, he's there, um, but like I said, there's kind of a mirror thing going on with this. Oh yes, he is on the side. So he was cut, cut, slightly cut off on that side and this side it, he's whole. So they, they, uh, the lining up of it is, but he's really cute. Let's see. Yeah, and I really love this pattern so much. I love all the dots. There's like bells, little strips of bells going on over here. And I love this purple. I love, they use purple in the some of the flowers as well. Kind of this deep wine, but it's it's more, it's more of a pink wine. It's, a, it's, but I love it. I just love all that blue and pink together. That's my thing this summer. And then the splashes of kind of gold and yellow going on in there. I think probably my least favorite flower in this pattern is this one. Um, and of course, the, there's just so much of it in here on the inside. Um, that was one of the reasons why I didn't get this pattern on the outside and I decided to go with the small pattern because um, I just was worried about placement. So there's a hair on this pocket here. So the inside of this bag has six slip pockets, no zippers. Um, it does have the, so I was, like I was saying, I was kind of slightly disappointed about the foxes on the interior, that there wasn't more. Um, and I had come kind of like griped about it on Instagram or somewhere. And then I was like, oh wait, this has a hidden pocket. Maybe there'll be one inside the hidden pocket if I'm, you know, like maybe partial or whatever. So I go and open the hidden pocket and um, let's see if I can do this. It's hard to see, it's hard to open it for you. But I open the hidden pocket and he is staring me right in the face. So I know, I mean, I just know that the seamstress put that there on purpose. There's no other reason that it would be like smack in the center right when you open the pocket looking at you. So that was like, okay, I'm gonna stop complaining about this. And I just love the bag. I just love, love, love the bag. Yeah, so and, oh, I just love this blue with this, like, is it magenta? It's not, there's no brown in it. It's just a purple, pink, purple. Really like it, really, really like it. So anyway, all right. So what's in the rest, what do I have here? So oh, here's another, so this is, um, she, my stylist said, get a leave-in conditioner. Your hair is so tangly and, um, you know, it's been, it's been bleached a couple of times to get the get white, and so she said get a um, a detangler. So I tried the one that she had used at the salon, and I hated the smell. I have a real problem with like fragrance, um, certain things. Um, she and so I took it back. I had gotten it at Ulta, and I took it back, and I think that was called It's a Ten or something. And she suggested that I try this one, um, which you can only buy from the company online. Uh, so it's Unite's seven seconds, seven seconds detangler. And this is great. So it just like kind of everything just got really smooth with this. So I spray up this on. I, I took it to her because um, I didn't know she had it and I wanted, I didn't want her to use the other one that I didn't like the smell of. So I'm real picky with fragrance. Like I don't want any. So it's really hard buying Vera bags that are um, been washed. I have to like ask a lot of questions about the smell and is it, you know, if there's any smell at all, I want to know because I know I'm not, you know, it's like, I don't be surprised in that way if, if there, if there is fragrance, I can return it. Like I've already told you that I have a problem with fragrance. So if you're going to tell me that there's no, no smell to this bag and then I get it in the mail and it smells, it's going back. <laughs> anyway, no, not all the time. There's sometimes where I can wash it and it comes out. So, um, and then in my other, uh, pocket here, I have... Uh, some ibuprofen, um, a little Kleenex pack, and uh, old little Tupperware that also has some other kinds of pills in it that extra. I, when I was traveling to Chicago, I went to Chicago for Independence Day, and when I was traveling, I took extra um, 
meds with me. Um, and then I have, uh, I was carrying, I was carrying a lot of red, white, and blue when I was there for Independence Day. So I had this, um, on my, um, other bag that was red, white, and blue. And, um, this is, I can't remember the, the pattern name, but it's a little like backpack, uh, stars and stripes, I think. Um, and this is like a hair tie. My stylist told me these are better for your hair than these. So I had gotten this from my granddaughter, but I haven't used it yet. Um, but inside here is um, my uh, asthma spray if I need it. I don't, I don't need it very often anymore. Uh, living in a dry climate, I don't seem to have as much problem as um, in a moist climate. So when I went back to Chicago, I made sure that I had it with me. Um, so my keys um, with my little foxwood um, lanyard, just a short lanyard key holder. Yeah, so I had found this back when I found all the foxwood at the outlet. Um, still haven't gotten the tag off of it. But yeah, so that's my my lanyard for my keys um, so I can find them easy. Um, this is my uh, calendar kind of notebook. I'm still carrying around um, hand wipes from the airplane. They hand these two when you get on a flight. Um, if you wanna clean the surfaces where you're sitting and um, this is my um, water bouquet uh, coin purse and I'm using it for my um, ear pods. Um, I love the inside of water bouquet. It's so pretty. Anyway, so I'm carrying that around and what else do I have in here? Um, oh, this is Mod Paisley. This is a I don't know if this is a, I don't think it's a coin purse. I don't know if the tag's in it. Um, yep, it's a coin port purse. The, um, the outlet version of the coin purse is the zipper doesn't come down the edge like it does on the signature line. I really like that. Um, but it has the like outside exterior pouch that you could put something in. So it's a little different than the signature line. This is Mod Paisley. Um, so I like that flower replacement, so I picked that one up. Um, and I'm carrying my, I'm carrying um, extra hair ties uh, around in this one. Uh, I put you on pause. Sorry about that. Got interrupted again. It's like dinner time. I'm trying to cook and film. It's terrible. Uh, anyway, a couple of receipts. Um, oh, and. This is a, um, this is left from me carrying all the red, white, and blue. This is uh, Stephanie Dawn. I don't remember the name of this item. Some sort of a pouch, but I literally like this red, white, and blue. This one really is like the kind of red that I like and the light blue against it with the navy blue and the white. There's something about that that I just really, really love. I ended up getting um, a shoulder bag um, in this as well. So sometime I'll show that. Um, it's interesting that they, Stephanie Dawn feels like they do um, a cover of Vera Bradley. There's a lot of items that look similar to Vera and the patterns are kind of similar. Um, they do sort of the styling a little bit similar. This one is obviously sort of a dome um, pouch and, but I, what I noticed is that they make their um, cloth pulls a little longer than Vera, and I kind of like that. I think it looks uh, good. So anyway, so in here I have um, an extra mask um, and just a bunch of like sort of cards that are um, business cards and things for my doctors and stuff like that. So that's kind of all in here. I'm not a very organized uh, Vera user. <laughs> just kind of throw things in everywhere um, and don't think about it too much. Um, I'm, I'm jealous or admire people who, you know, spend the time to like figure out the best coordinating pieces and, you know, creative ways to use all the pouches for all the things that they have. Um, okay, so that's everything that's inside. I forgot to kind of show you the front. Um, there is a slip pocket here that goes kind of all the way down um, in here. And so I have uh, there's a moisturizer that I was using and 
Oh, oh, this is what I wanted to tell you about. Uh, so more receipts. Um, oh, and a, a charging cord for inside the car in case I needed to charge my phone in there. Um, more receipts. Uh, oh, reading glasses, which I usually have a, um, a case for my readers um, that I carry them in, but I had just thrown them in there really fast. Um, and I think I have, I have a Vera pen in here. I think this is Garden Grove. So the Navy kind of went, so I used that. I'm telling you I'm not coordinated, but then I worried about my pen. Um, okay, and then uh, this was the mask that I kind of used today, which I think is called uh, something to toil, toll, um, seashore. I don't know, anyway. I think this was a paper store exclusive pattern, Vera and paper store. Um, so I had found that at the outlet and got that. So I liked it for summer. Um, so this is the last items that I have uh, in the bag. Before, and I'll show you the, the uh, other pocket in a second. But I, so this summer has been like the summer of girly stuff for me. Um, I tended to be a tomboy in my younger years and then just raising kids and everything. I was very like, you know, I don't have time to figure out makeup and nails and clothes and whatever. I'm just wearing whatever. My hair's going to be like put up, pulled in a ponytail on. I don't care what I look like. And not that I didn't care or care, but it was just very simple. I didn't do any, a lot of girly stuff. And I wear like, I have one pe one necklace. I've been wearing this necklace for 15 years. Like it's the same necklace. I never switch it. It's like I got it at a farmer's market in Park City at one of those fairs. It's just a, it's real cheap. It's like just a glass, little glass thing with a silver chain and you know it's like so I'm very like not girly like I don't spend a lot of time at shopping I'm not I don't like shopping um but when I'm with my daughter it's a different story we seem to when she, I'm with her she can she's like really good at telling me like oh that's cute mom that looks really good on you or I think you should do that otherwise I have no creativity about it at all like it's, <laughs> so anyway this has been the summer of like me kind of like exploring all sorts of girly stuff, which is weird for me, but um, I started getting into like nails and I, my daughter's nails always look gorgeous. She has a really good nail tech that um, she does, and then that really beautiful. Um, and so I don't want long nails, but I also didn't like all the peeling polish all the time and all that. So I kind of, um, was using, I use, I got some gels done once, once, but I didn't like it. And then I kind of got my own gel system and I didn't do it. And so I found some things called color strips, which I used at the beginning of summer. But my new passion, my new obsession is olive and I think it's olive and June uh, polish, which was like, you know, they marketed all over my Instagram and everywhere I was. So they, they got me. <laughs> so, um, and they do a lot of um, like um, what they call ombre polish, which is um, they use a lot of pastel and they use like a different color on every nail. So if you can see, this was called the uh, something sorbet, summer sorbet or something like that. So it's like, there's a pink and kind of a peach and then another pink, a lighter pink and then a lighter peach and then a baby pink on the, on the baby nail anyway so it was like I want that like <laughs> it was expensive and I and they also have a full like a full manicure system and they teach you how to do a really good manicure on yourself without using clippers and all that stuff um, and I am just in love with their polish like all their colors and the way that they do this ombre they've got like one for rainy day that has like blues and grays in it and they've got this one which is like the sun I think it was called summer sorbet or something and they have one called sunset and a little bit darker and some for fall. And so I'm like mad about it. Anyway, so I got this this set first. I mean, it's, um, so there's like uh, five polish colors that came in it and then um, the top coat, which I carry with me or I was carrying today. Um, they want, they tell you to put top coat on every two days um, or every, you know, like the third day, put top coat on again and it makes your manicure last longer. So this has been on, I don't know, six days, no chipping. Um, and I do the top coat regularly so that it stays. And then these are dry drops, which I was carrying with me because I was going to put a top coat on when I got to the stylist 
Um, and these are dry drops, which you just, you know, one drop on each nail and it dries the polish in 80 seconds and leaves like a kind of an oil uh, around your cuticle. And so I had these with me as well today. Um, so that's um, my custom bag, uh, which I am madly in love with. It took me a long time to open it after I got it because I was super intimidated. Um, and I ended up counting foxes. Um, and I think I had 33 foxes, partial and whole. Um, I discovered that one of the straps had foxes on the bottom. Sorry, another interruption. <laughs> My husband keeps coming in and out. Um, so I ended up counting uh, the foxes and I, like I said, I got, I think a 33. Um, I noticed that there was, um, you know, anytime, anywhere that I saw this magenta color, I assumed it was a flower. Um, but I ended up seeing that uh, one of the straps, the magenta was actually a fox. And then, so I started like, okay, let's follow this around. And it turned out that there was partial foxes kind of all the way through the strap um, and on the other strap as well. So there was partial foxes on the strap that were creating that sort of, um, there's, there's one there, he's upside down, but there's a partial fox right there. You can see his tail sticking out. And there's the repeat right there. Yeah, so he's, uh, the, the fabric isn't completely straight, so he does kind of, I think, tend to be bigger in some places. Anyway, so that's my custom bag. I love it, love it, love it. And I highly recommend if you can uh, find the extra money uh, to go ahead and order yourself one. Oh, I know what I forgot to show you. Um, so this is the, uh, let me put this back inside this is the um the front pocket and i just love the fact that when i open this there is uh the foxwood blue inside here um sorry the tag's still on uh yeah so uh not thrilled that it's this flower but i just love that when you pull this down you see this peak of this um, other color Kind of peeking through and that's the fun part of getting um the bag yeah so anyway thanks for watching um i'll be back uh, i think i've got a couple of uh, unicorn bags that i want to show you talk to you later bye